We are cooking with Ann again, and we are back in Miss Ann Grimes' kitchen, and today we're going to do bread pudding, and it's a little different variation of it bread is. pudding, Miss Ann. What are we going to do? Uh, we're going to do what I call a pina colada uh, bread pudding. Uh, actually, a friend of mine gave it to me back about the year 2000, and it's called Puda Bear's Pineapple Stuffing. But Puda I like Bear? Puda Bear. Who's Puda Bear? Puda Bear is a lady I've met online during uh, <laughs> some conversation we were having, and um, she gave sent me this recipe. We were talking about food, and she sent me one of her family's favorite recipes. And so in my cookbook, it's called Puda Bear's Pineapple Stuffing. That's what they call it. But she says they eat it like dessert, and it is dessert, because it is a bread pudding type of dessert. And what I have here in my bowl is um, one stick of butter softened. I have one and a half cups of sugar, and I have five of my homegrown eggs grown right here on right. the property with Miss Ann's own chickens. And absolutely uh, delicious. And what I've done here is I'm cre I've creamed this up and it's going to look up. looks almost like you were doing cake batter mm. uh, before you add the flour to it. Well, that does look like cake batter. It's like cake batter. And I'm going to add... Uh, you want me to pour in the pineapple? Uh, actually, we, we, we're going to stir that in. Okay. And Henry, I moved my spoon. Uh oh. Do I need the spoon? Mm -hmm. We have the spoon right here from this end. Right here. All right. Very good. Okay, I'm going to just stir in the pineapple. Now, this is where the ingredients become a question of personal taste, right? That's right. Now, you may this not is, want uh, the coconut in it. But, the, you know, the bread pudding is one thing, but now you can add your own special flavor to it. What else could you add other than pineapple, say? Well, actually, if you wanted to add chocolate chips to it, you could. I mean, you know, it's, you've got everything in it like that. Then I put a half a cup of coconut. Oh. This is beginning to look a little bit like pina colada. Right. And then I have three <laughs> cups of bread, and this is the, some rolls, leftover rolls, and when I have leftover bread, I cube it, put it oh, in my freezer, so idea. when I want to make this dish, then all I have to do is just get it out. Mm. Now, Man. it can't be much simpler than this, because this is ready to actually go into the bowl, Yeah. and I'm going to spray my dish. All right, let me move the cookbook out of the way a little bit so people can see your bowl. So, what did you just spray in there? I right? just sprayed a uh, non-stick uh, okay. for baking so right. that it won't stick. All right, here it goes. This is ready to go. Ha. And then into the oven for how long? This will cook about 30 minutes at 350 degrees, and it's going to rise somewhat. Now, you can you know add coconut on top if you want to toast it, but for all practical purposes, it's like a five minute mix. And this is what it looks like? This is what it looks like, end. and this and is going to the oven. It's still hot. Now that one's going in the oven, but Miss Ann just took that one out, and it's hot. In fact, it's burning my hands, but that's what it looks like when it's done. That is the uh, special pina colada. Uh, well, I call it pina colada. What do you call it? Poot that's what Poota Bear. Poota Bear is pineapple Poota stuffing Poota. with coconut. <laughs> so if people are looking for it in the, in the cookbook or online, what do they look for? Do they look for bread pudding? I uh, actually, it's uh, with the family favorite recipes. Okay. And then to just make it just a little more decadent, oh. we can put some condensed milk on top. Wow. The 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 drizzle accent. The drizzle accent. Yeah. Look at that. Now, are we done? And now, well, don't we need a, a, a bowl of ice cream? Oh, a bowl of ice cream? <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> Again, another one of the great recipes in Miss Ann's book. You can get the book online at annsdumplings.com, area Christian bookstores, and uh, we appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Uh, We're ready to eat where's some. The, where's the ice cream? Okay, I'll get the ice cream. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs>